Hi everybody, it's Erin from A Papery, and I'm here just to share a quick little icebreaker activity that we participated in at our junk journal retreat held last weekend and hosted by the lovely Kelly at Root Pursuit. So if you haven't checked out Kelly's channel, please do us a favor and go and give her some love. So the first thing that we did was um, just make mask made some clusters. So we're just taking some book pages and um, using those as a base and adding some layers for some interest. Um, Kelly gifted us with some lovely uh, piano uh, scroll roll paper. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Piano scroll? <laughs> So uh, we used that and also uh, a lovely paper doily to use as our next layer um, and some stickers and some pre-stamped labels. So she had all of these supplies ready to go for us. All we had to do was just put the activity together and it was a great way to just get our juices flowing and get ready to create. So basically I've kind of boiled down the steps of this activity for you so that you can, can recreate this activity for yourself. You do not have to use the exact same materials that we did. As a matter of fact, I may redo this activity using a different set of materials um, later on just so that you can see the different effects that you can get by using the same formula and just changing up the materials. But in this case, we're using a book page, piano scroll, paper doily, some stickers, and some pre-stamped labels. And then I added a couple of options of my own just to add some more interest and make it more, more my own. Everybody kind of put their own little spin on it as we tend to do. I, th I don't think any one of us ever did an activity during this retreat and followed the rules uh, or the instructions all exactly the same. I think we all did our own things, which is half the fun. Um, seeing how other artists do things, everybody else's creative process, just being able to sit in the same room person to person with other people who enjoy the same things that we do was so much fun. Um, we met, uh, mom and I both went, we met um, a group of fantastic ladies. Um, I'm, I'm sure we made lifelong friends here. <laughs> um, and we all got along so wonderfully. The chemistry was so awesome. We are hoping to do this again real soon. Um, and just, you know, kudos to Kelly for planning everything and organizing everything and just putting together um, a really wonderful time for us. We were there for, uh, we, we checked in Wednesday night um, to our hotel and then Thursday morning started our full day crafting sessions. We crafted a full day Thursday, a full day Friday, and then about half a day Saturday. And then we all um, kind of wrapped it up and, and went home. And by the end of that time, let me tell you, we were exhausted. Um, this took place about an hour and a half from where we live, um, a little further north in Wisconsin than where, than where we're located. Um, but it's, it was great to be able to have, um, have something like this that, you know, that was close to us. So, um, I wish everybody had the opportunity to, to do this, but, um, you know, I would say if you're interested in something like this, reach out on some Facebook groups, see if you can find some other um, journalers who are located in your area. Um, and then, you know, just take it from there. If you find enough that are local to you, maybe you can find a, you know, um, if you can find a place even just to do a day long, like a, like in a church or a, you know, a school or just a, a hotel conference room, something like that. Um, even just a day, a, a day long, um, you know, retreat kind of thing is a lot of fun. And you can have planned activities. We did, um, I think Kelly had five or six over the course uh, of our stay. We could choose to do those along with her or we could choose to kind of do our own thing. I think mom participated in all the activities. 
I was actually really busy trying to get my vacation journal done um, for our recent trip to Asheville, North Carolina. So I'll be doing a flip through of that real soon. Um, so that's that's kind of what I, I concentrated on during our time there. But, um, you know, it can be free form or it can be structured either way. Um, I think most of us brought little goodies to share with the other participants. There were six of us total, including Kelly. Um, so it was a nice size group. Um, everybody was able to kind of talk and share. Um, so anyway, just a really, really wonderful experience. And I highly recommend for anybody who has the opportunity to either organize something like this or participate in something like this, well worth uh, the time um, and, and money to go if you can. So anyway, I'm sure there will be more more retreat stories and, and more retreat footage uh, coming out. Um, I know Kelly has already posted some videos um, about her retreat experience, so make sure you go out to her channel and check those out as well. Um, yeah, I mean, really, what more can I say? And we're just kind of making clusters here, so... <laughs> But it was it was really it was really kind of funny because we, um, you know, I dropped mom off um, Saturday afternoon and then I had another 45 minute drive um, home from Beaver Dam to DeForest, Wisconsin, where I live, and, which is in the Madison area. I got home. I had, you know, the evening with with Matt um, and then we got up the next day and we had to drive back up north um, for a work outing of his. We got to stay at the American, um, the American Club in Kohler, which is a, uh, a historic hotel um, and very, very fancy schmancy. And it was lovely. We had a lovely stay there, a lovely dinner. Um, we got to, you know, socialize with uh, everybody at his company, which is a small company, but, you know, he's, he's relatively new there. I think he's been there about six months. So that was that was a lot of fun and it was a nice little getaway for us. So that it has been a jam packed last week. So, um, you know, that's why I haven't been, uh, as present here on the channel. I hope you can forgive me for that, but, uh, more videos coming up very soon. I have a big announcement coming up and a special effort coming up for, May. So stay tuned. There will be more information coming about that very soon as well. So, and then I get, uh, I got back. Um, when we get back, we, we were there Sunday and then Monday and, and we drove back Monday afternoon. So, and then, uh, Clover, our foster dog has been like Velcro on me ever since and she's also scared of storms and it's been stormy for the last two days here so rather rather than velcro she's been more like super glue <laughs> so I've been buried under a pile of dogs and cats and <laughs> which is is uh not the worst place to be to be honest um and we had a little willow here yesterday for for doggy daycare. He's my Yorkie that comes um, for daycare and boarding every once in a while. And he is a spitfire uh, ball full of energy. And um, it was so much fun watching Clover play with him, which I wasn't sure was going to happen because she doesn't play very much. Um, she's a former show dog. So that was kind of trained out of her, I think, from an early age. So she doesn't, she kind of gets freaked out by dogs that want to play with her. But Willow came in and, uh, he just, I don't know if he just charmed her or what, because he is so darn cute, um, or just wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not sure, but she actually got into it and was playing and pouncing around and just kind of running in circles. And it was the cutest darn thing watching a Dalmatian and a Yorkie, um, run circles around the, around the living room and pounce around at each other and, and play little games with each other. Um, it was, it was really nice. And I'm glad that I was able to send Willow home to his mom and dad, uh, nice and tired out. Hopefully he had a quiet evening <laughs> for them. He comes to daycare every once in a while, just so his mom can have a quiet day, uh, at work. Uh, she works from home. So, uh, 
I like to I like to have him. I like to have him every once in a while, and he likes to have other pups to play with. So it's it's a nice it's a nice uh, arrangement for us. And Matt just absolutely loves loves him. So, and of course we we have our lovely girl Clover, who has been staying with us for the last um, three weeks. I think three four weeks. She came while we were in North Carolina and stayed with Eddie, and then she's been here with us ever since. And that is her whistling at me in the background. We nicknamed her Teapot because she whistles uh, when she cries. <laughs> and she, she's uh, upset because she's not in my lap right now. Um, and she has to lay over on the couch while I do my video work. But I'm almost done with this video. And uh, then I can, I can, you know, wrap this up and I can invite her back onto my lap and then she'll be happy and then she'll fall asleep and uh we'll just snuggle for a bit before bedtime and that's the way she likes it <laughs> and then tomorrow I have Holly and Holly you've met in previous videos <laughs> and she likes to cry in the background too I get I always get the dogs I guess who just absolutely have to be near me touching me on top of me um all day long. Um, and they don't like it when Auntie Erin tries to get any work done. So that's just, that's my life in dog daycare terms right now. Um, but Clover's mom should be coming home, we think, within the next week or two. So that is going to be a little weird, um, having her, having her go back home and not having her with us anymore. We will miss her. But, um, um, at the same time, it'll be a little bit like having a tumor removed. <laughs> I'll be able to move freely about the house again. I'll be able to get into the studio for more time, which is going to be necessary um, for May. So again, I'm hinting at a little special effort I have coming up. So um, again, stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this little cluster making activity and just, you know, sharing a little bit about what's going on, Life Eddie Papery, um, some of the fun from the junk journaling retreat that we've had. Um, I'll be sharing a flip through, hopefully pretty soon, of my travel journal. I think I have a few more things that I want to just finish up in there, but it's pretty much done. Um, I'm hoping to maybe entice Matt and Evie to write and or draw or make some tags or something to put in there so that it's just not me making it but it's an effort from all three of us but at any rate I hope everybody has had a wonderful week and I will see you soon all right guys bye